Hello everyone, here is Natan Cavalcante from São Paulo, Brazil. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up SAP in order to perform email output. So the idea is, when you create a purchase order, you would like to send automatically to your vendor and message email instead of performing the paper printout or PDF printout, okay? So, let us get started. The first thing I'm gonna do right now is to show my actual situation. I mean, I will create a purchase order. For this vendor, this plant. Just one piece is enough. So if you click over here, messages, you'll be able how my system is working right now. Uh, we are working with output type standard new, and system will perform the printout in the printer system. So we have here the partner and my communication method. I have the logical destination, uh, in other words, my printer is a local printer. It will be printed automatically. So when I save, let's go back, when I save this purchase order, system will print out automatically, send immediately when saving the application. So let's do that, it's just a test. Okay. So if you have a printer in your computer, using this configuration, SAP will print out automatically. So I would say it is not good, right? Because let's just say you have created the PO and the PO is not correct. So at this time you have spent uh, paper and it is not good because it's possible to waste uh, paper so here's my purchase order number I'm using this form this is a standard form from SAP okay you can create your own form all right so now I have demonstrated what is happening right now we are going to change uh, some configurations in order to repeat this test and we are going to send automatically an email to our vendor instead of generating the PDF file okay so I have here my script so what I have to do in order to, to perform these changes I am assuming that right now your SAP is able to at least generate a printout uh, uh, and paper or PDF, okay? So first of all, we have to test, create your uh, PO and confirm if that uh, message is configured, if the system uh, is able to print your PO, okay? Because we are going to take advantage of everything is already created and change it to a mail message type, okay? So let's just go over the configuration. Uh, we have to go on material management. Uh, after that, you have to go on purchasing messages. Here in messages, you have a lot of configurations, okay? I will not go through all configurations because, as I told you before, I'm assuming your system is already configured in order to perform the messages, okay? So first we have to do, let us confirm assign farm and output program for purchase order. Uh, so this is on forms, assign farm and output program for purchase order. So we are working with new, okay, output type is new. Uh, here's the name, what means the new, new printout, 
new PO printout. Here is how you are sending the printout. So you have a lot of options. Uh, number one is for print. Oh, that means your printer will perform the printout. We are going to work with external send. Okay. This configuration, this option is required in order to send an email to the vendor. Also, we have two. Number two means fax. So, all we have to do is just confirm if you have this configuration done, created in your system. If you don't have, all we have to do is just copy the one is already working, that means the printer, do a copy over here, and just change one to number five. Uh, what we are doing right now, we are telling the system what program system would use or should use, what form and uh, form routine, and what form you have to work. Uh, every MM consultant knows the Medruk form. This is the standard form that I have already shown you. Uh, usually what we do, we copy the Medruk for Z Medruk in order to create a um, uh, different form. Let's just say company, your company don't want to work with this, this form, the standard form. Let's just say it's not beautiful form. In fact, it's not. Uh, the idea is to create a new one. So all we have to do is change the Medruk. Here it is in Portuguese because my vendor language is in, in Portuguese, okay? Sorry about that. Okay, let's go back to the configuration. I will not save because I already have this uh, configuration. Okay, here it is. New, new printout, number five, the program, the form routing, and the form name. No need to do anything else. All we have to do is save. I will not save. Let's go back. So this is the first step. Second step is Define message types for purchase order. So let's go over there. Uh, I believe this is on output control. Messages types. Okay. Uh, I am ignoring the these steps because, uh, as I told you, I'm assuming it's already working. Okay. Uh, define message type for purchase order. Okay. So we are working with new printout, the standard one. Uh, let's go over this configuration. I'll just show you. I will not do any change over here. So general data, uh, default values, time, storage system, print, mail. Mail here, you can uh, define the priority, high has priority, low has priority, but I will not change. So just to show that we have this configuration over here, mail, title, and text. This is important because uh, English. Okay, when when we send an email to the vendor, uh, we have to define a title. So in English, we have this this title, email title. New purchase order printout. I don't think it's a good, good title. I think we could change. So, uh, PO new new oh okay PO to be delivered. A anything else? Okay, you define the title. So what the, what's the idea here? When the vendor receives the email, the vendor will just identify by this title that you are sending um, a new PO, okay? I'm putting over here uh, the company name, okay? Uh, I did the same for uh, in Portuguese, okay? Also, uh, there is a possibility to change the text over here. As it says, mail, title, and text. So, 
it was supposed to when you perform an adjustment over here I was trying to fill the the body of the mail with some message but unfortunately it didn't work didn't work I not sure yet why but I will try to discover to find out and I will post what we have to do in order to fix it okay so I'm just testing right now but uh, I believe it will, it will not work so what else we have to do processing row times uh, here we have uh, print out is the one that's working nowadays and you have to create this new one if you don't have just select the first one copy change for five and everything is the same okay no need to change anything else so I have it already over here uh, the program the form the form name uh, in this system in this environment we are working with subscript we are not using smart form so I will not provide this information okay I will leave it like that and finally we have partner roles this is very important because when we are creating a message uh, system must know to who uh, the message will be sent and print out we have three functions over here ordering address vendor and delivering plant in this case when we are performing plant transfers so all we have to do is just select these three options and copy all of them using the option 5 okay I will not do that because I already have at least I have two vendor I don't have for this two well no problem for testing I will not save I already have it over here so no need to do anything else just save uh, this step we are doing right now partner roles uh, we will just confirm in the step 3 So I will not say. Ah, it's important to save. Uh, let me let me cancel. Why I have to save? Because I have changed the mail title, right? For English. What is it? Yeah. Let's save. Okay. So. Let's go now to the last step, almost last step, that is partner roles for PO. I will just confirm because uh, the configuration we have done right now is over here. Remember, one for number five, external, and three for number one print print out okay just confirming if the configuration is here if it's not over here again all we have to do is just copy the printer configurations change the number one to number five okay so this is done now we're going to the last step of our configuration uh, it's not a configuration uh, this is how can I say you must do uh, these changes directly on the environment because this is a master data okay so transaction code MNO4 is when you need to create a new message determination okay as I already have I will not create a new one I just changed the the one I have output type is new uh, here we have the K combination so we have a lot of ways to determine system determination we will be doing uh, we'll be considering these op options so what I have to say here is let's just say 
Purchase combination, doc type, purchase organization, vendor. You, you want to tell the system which vendor you're going to print in paper or which vendor you're, go you're going to receive an email. So you can, you can do that. You can create a new key combination over here. Let's just say uh, for purchasing, purchasing group number one, we'll send the mails. And purchasing group number two, we'll do a normal printout. So you have a lot of op options over here. I like to work with the, this one because it's very simple, just document type. So document type standards NB. We're going to change this one, okay? So first change is what you are using in order to send the message. The printer, are going to change to external chain send. Okay. Uh, also, what uh, when you're going to send it immediately or send with your application on transaction? Here is very important uh, because let's just say you have created the purchase order and when you send, if you are using this configuration, this option, system will send automatically an email to the vendor. Let's just say your purchase order is wrong. So it's terrible to keep sending emails to the vendor uh, several times until you have finished it. It's not good. So my suggestion is work with three, option three. Because if you work with this option, when you make sure your purchase order is totally correct, you can run a transaction code and send this email to your vendor. Also, that's very good because you can send several emails to several vendors. That means if you have created 10 POs, you can send at one time 10 emails messages, okay? So I will set up for number three. Select this option, go in communication. Here is important to tell the system what is the communication strategy. So I have here configured internet letter. This is a basis consultant uh, task to create this strategy. If, uh, if you don't have this strategy, it will not work. Okay, so talk to your basis, ask him to create the communication strategy. Uh, and if he says, I don't know how to do that, all you have to do just press F1 over here and go on this customizing system will show exactly where you can do that, okay? I'll not go over there, I don't want to uh, waste your time right now. So this is done. Uh, I will not change anything over here. I have the print immediately. I have the local output device, my local printer. Uh, I will send an email, but system it's good to tell the system that you have a local printer. Let's just say you want to do a test printout, so that's important to have it over here, okay? Uh, let's save. So, I'm talking too much, but uh, I think we have done everything. Let's just do right now, a, uh, that is one task before any, everything, that is one thing else we have to do. Right, right now, we must uh, confirm if my vendor has an email configured, okay? Uh, I, I mean, system must know, if you are going to send an email, system must know what is the email address of the vendor. So you have to tell the system that, okay? So go over transaction code XK02, put the vendor number there, go over address. Uh, you can confirm the language. So I will change to English because the test we have done, the first test we have done was in Portuguese, right? So I change the communication to English and let us for testing. I'm going to use my email address, okay? So this is very important. Email address and language, okay? Save it. So now I think we are good to go. Transaction code PO creation. I will create exactly the same PO. 
let us purchase one piece okay uh, let us confirm if the system is performing the message determination op, uh, automatically so if we have this uh, this table with one entry that means it's working uh, so it's yellow because not processed yet message output type is new the standard one that we are working Sysing is already uh, bringing the external send option no longer print out print print output okay uh, partner was the system was able to to find the partner the language system brings this information from vendor master data now it is in English it was in Portuguese okay also my communication is I have the communication strategy over here that means everything I create uh, every time I create a PO the same options will be uh, will be filled over here automatically okay what else for the data system will not send when I save this PO system will send with the application on transaction that's good exactly what I was looking for so I'm going to save my PO okay now we have the PO number over here Control C. Okay. So everything is done. Everything is perfect right now. From MM point of view, no need to do any other configuration. But as I told you before, we have configured the system in order to send an email when I want to do that. Okay. So I'm assuming my PO is correct. So I feel free to send an email to my vendor. All I have to do is go over here. Logistics, materials management, purchasing, uh, purchase order. Let's go over messages. And we have the this option, print transmit. Perfect. Okay, this is a, just a report, okay? You have the possibility to deliver a lot of messages. Uh, at, at once okay I will bring just one PO the last one we have created that's good we have it over here let me close this option over here uh, if you go on display message you can see the PO okay that we are about to send to, send to the vendor if you go over message details you, you remember this screen is the, exactly the same we were processing when we was on the own this PO okay exactly the same thing you can change information over here if you want but I will not do anything else let's just say uh, I would like to have a PD, PDF version uh, I would like to have it so what should I do go over here try and print out just click off this, over this button system will generate a PDF version for you okay uh, why I say PDF it's important to know my local printer is a PDF creator okay so if you are local printer the full local printer is a paper a normal printer it will print in paper uh, I like to generate PDFs because I like to save the papers okay so let's just save my desktop system will open automatically so here is the PDF okay so if you need a version you can do that no need to create two message types one for PO uh, one for printer or other for email I think this is the best way to do that just one configuration you can have both options over here okay so now finally let's just do the output message let's just say I have a lot of POs over here just select all of them and output message now it's green right that's great if I go over the PO oh alright there you can see the message it's green that means it was processed okay 
without any issues. Okay, so all we have to do is wait the remainder to receive the email. But what I'm going to do now is force the system to do that, to send an email. Transaction code Scott. Go to utilities. Overview send orders. Uh, I have two messages that were already sent, but I have one that's scheduled. There is a uh, it's scheduled to be sent 1 p.m. After 1 p.m. Right now is 9 a.m. That means I don't I don't want to wait until this time. And let us tell the system I want this message sent right now. So what I have done, I have told the system that uh, the date is in the past, okay? Uh, that means it's, it's late. I'm going to ask the system to, to send the messages. So first you have to change the date, okay? Change to the past. After that, you click on, over that button, the system will generate the message. It's important to say that you don't, not, you, you don't need to do that, okay? Uh, uh, um, this can be done automatically, okay? If, if the time is too long to wait, you can ask your basis to set up a schedule uh, less time. Let's just say every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes, okay? So this is done. Let's go now over my email address, email, and here we have the email, okay? This is the email I have used on the vendor, remember? So, this is it. Everything we have done was in order to get this objective, okay? To send to the vendor automatically a PO via email, okay? Well, this is what I wanted to show you. I have a problem over here. Let's open over again. This is what I wanted to show you. How to, uh, to send a PO to the vendor via email. I hope you have enjoyed. Okay. Uh, please try to do that. Um, I hope you can, you, you can do that and successful. Okay. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.